All right, let's start from the first cycle here. I'll play it through once slowly here. And now let's break it down a little bit. So the first half uh, would be one, Now let's take each beat uh, at a time. So it'd be starting from here. One. This would be one here. So the legato from the third fret to the first fret and zero. And you play uh, the first and fourth strings with your index and thumb here. And then the second string with your middle finger after. And you take this little finger here to the third fret of the second string here. So that would be one. And then the two is one, two. So you play the first string here with your ring finger, and then do a legato like this. A zero, one, three, one, zero. So Three is here. Three. It's basically the same, but with the also with the fourth string here with the thumb. So one, two, three, and then the four. Uh, on the four, you go uh, again to the second string here, and it will be one, wait, one, two, three, four. So four is a, a legato here on the second string. Uh, again from frets three one zero played with the middle finger here and then the second fret here that you have already here with your middle finger you play with your index finger here the third string so so that will be one The five is just going back like this. Five. So a free second string with your middle finger here. And then again a legato back to first and th uh, third frets here. And then a free first string here with your ring finger. Five. So four, five. So basically it's just. back and forth. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we have already half of it down here. And then starting from six, uh, oh, sorry about the train there, but I have to keep the door open because it's terribly hot. The six starts like this. So again, you play the fourth string here with your thumb. All the time you have this held up here and then you pull off the first fret here on the first string. And here I played with the middle finger, the first string, because right after that you play uh, the same string. So if, if I would use the ring finger at the first hit here, so when you have a high speed it's a bit difficult to play the same string so fast twice with the same finger. It is possible, but it is a little bit easier like this. Starting like this. So this would be six. Oh, so after, after the pull off here, like this, you play like this. So this here is uh, just with the ring finger starting on the first string uh, and a legato. So six, seven. Uh, 
so this here requires some explanation probably. So six. This is basically the six here. Six. So here with the middle finger, then ring finger. And this pull off here after, like this one here, is the seven. So it's six, seven, six, seven. Okay? And then six, seven, eight, nine. So six, seven, Again to the third fret here, and and here you play these strings accordingly: ring finger on the first, middle on the second, and, and uh, index finger on the fourth. So six, seven, and then here eight. This is eight here again. Uh, again the same pull off here, same as the six. Six. Seven, eight, and here you continue again with the legato like this. Eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine. Maybe you can see it better here. So you legato first, first the pull off, and then legato on the second string, and then on the third string, and finally the fourth string here. So, so that would be <coughs> sorry, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it's the remate. All in all, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <sighs> okay, and then uh, the second cycle is a bit of uh, This is something you've been practicing already. So it's just again this chord and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or you could have the variation here on the third fret here the. Little finger on the first uh, first string, third fret. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and then the last cycle of this episode. So this is actually not. In the original song, this is something I learned from. Uh, I think it was a book from Manuel Granados, and uh, <clears throat> I think it sounds pretty cool, so I just use it in this song. And here we uh, start with this uh, basically E major, but you just hold these frets here, which are third string, first fret, fourth string, second fret here. And then you do arpeggio with the strings one, two, three, four. So one, that would be number one on the cycle. One, two, so this would be one. Just changed the strings, so 
the tuning is quite messed up, messed up a little bit, but it's okay. One, two, three, and this chord here is played down stroke with your thumb and a golpe, and this is three, and right after this down stroke, you do a legato here. So third fret and second fret and zero. So three, one, two, three, and then you take a C chord. This requires some explaining here. So first we have this one, two, three, and then with the C chord, the four is uh, an, an arpeggio here again. So this would be four, five, and this five here. Uh, when, when you do the arpeggio here, four, uh, you play the fourth string here. And then the first string with your index finger here. So four, five, and this this is the whole five com uh, completely here. So four, five, and so <laughs> it's so hard to explain this. This part here. After after playing the fourth and first string, you uh, hammer on with your ring finger here the third fret. And then right after this, you play the third string. It's free. And with a golpe. So. After this, uh, go, going with this, uh, after playing this string, you do a legato, and this is the six. So four, five, six. So basically, six is a little bit nasty. So just a normal arpeggio here. So seven, and then you take the second fret of the fourth string with your middle finger here. So seven, eight, and af after playing this, you play just a free first string here. Seven, eight, seven. This chord here is uh, first frets are on the second and fourth strings held with your index and your middle finger, and the second fret of the third string here with your ring finger. And then you play them with <clears throat> with your index, middle, and your ring finger like this. And right after playing them, you pull off uh, the second string here from the first fret. So it will be seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And this here, ten, eleven, basically ten, and this hammer on here is the eleven. So ten, eleven, twelve. All in all, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <clears throat> so after this, what comes is the tremolo falsetto, and uh, 
that will be on the next episode but I will show you a really nice way uh, to practice tremolo and uh, this is from a great flamenco guitarist youtuber that goes by the name Atrafana I will put some links on the description for you he has some really nice really nice technique tutorials and other stuff as well and actually uh, I think he has a book as well and a really com comprehensive uh, study method and it's quite simple really so as you know the tremolo in flamenco I, uh, opposed to a uh, classical where you play ring finger middle finger and index finger like in uh, flamenco you play four notes starting with the index finger so it's index ring finger middle finger index and this is the nice way to practice this you can use chords as well but I'll show you without that chord now. So first, uh, you play all on all the time. You play through these uh, from five to six. You play this with the thumb like this, and you start with the tremolo on the first string. So it would go like this. Oh, okay. After you play it a few times like that, you switch the tremolo on the second string, but you still play the same uh, notes with the with the thumb. So it will be and then finally you play the tremolo on the third string. Try to be as relaxed as possible and then you can get the tremolo uh, better before the next episode actually I have to practice that myself